All right, let's get ready to ignite your potential, fuel your ambition, and inspire change. All of that sounds good to me. The Women on the Move Summit encourages people to work together to achieve career goals. Joining us this morning with more on this year's summit and its theme, Redefining Success, is founder Dr. Kim McNair. Dr. McNair, first of all, we have to say congratulations on hosting this successful event yes. for 10 years. Yes, a full decade. A full wow. decade. So tell us about the Women on the Move Summit this year and what women can expect or gentlemen if they come out as we get ready to celebrate a decade of this event. Oh wow, it's going to be a great day of collaborating, connecting and creating excellence for women on the move. We have some dynamic panelists and speakers coming out and men are invited. <laughs> they can come. Um, but my whole concept with this was getting the right people on stage, on platform to be able to share with the women the entrepreneurs, small business owners, solopreneurs, or even someone in, trying to move up in leadership to give them the blueprint to get where they are. You know, are you leaving a blueprint? Are you giving them the secret sauce so that they can move up and get what they need? Because there's so many women that are here doing business and some are not doing it effectively and successfully because they are just missing the mark. And you're already here. So reach back, give me what I need so that I can get with you. And it's not about competition, it's about collaborating. I was just <laughs> thinking that in my mind, I was saying this sounds like the recipe of collaboration over competition. Mm -hmm. And that is my motto with all things. I feel like everyone wins. And then when you do a good deed, you help other people too. Absolutely. And especially in a city like Atlanta, oh, this gosh. is becoming the capital for female entrepreneurs. Tell us what these entrepreneurs can expect to walk away with and get from this room. They are going to get a lot of information. As they said, they come in to fill up the bag. They're, come, they're going to come and get, um, like I said, those tools. They're going to find out how to navigate through social media, how to navigate in those rooms now that we're in there. Now we're hearing more and more about women being at the table, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now I'm at the table. What do I do? Do I raise my hand? Do I just sit back and listen? No, you need to be attentive. You need to sit up. Okay, and be ready to learn what you can learn so that you can grow your business, your brand, and yourself. So they'll be able to get a lot. They're gonna build up a lot of relationships. The networking is gonna be off the chain because there's gonna be so many powerful people in the room that, again, that can open doors for them or collaborate with them or at least allow them to connect with them so they can maybe have a mentor or someone, you know, it's always important for people to talk about you when you're not in the room. Mm -hmm. And so learning those things because people say, oh, sponsorship, sponsorship, sponsorship. A sponsor for me is being in that space and saying, hey, do you know Dr. Kim McNair? You just gave me all kind of advertisement, everything. Now everybody's going trying to figure out well, who I am. So exactly. you want to connect with those right people that's going to be able to speak your name in those rooms that you can't go in so that eventually you're going to get in there because I always say you do your thing. They going. I always say they're going to find me. I'm going to do what I need to do and do it right. But you have to do it with class. You have to have excellence and you also have to trust and believe in your brand. Mm -hmm. If you're just trying to willy nilly it and do it, it's not going to work. It's going to continue to collapse. But if you trust and believe in your brand, you keep him first and you know who I'm talking about. You can achieve all things. And a lot of people have such great ideas. They have such great vision, mm -hmm. but they don't move their feet and open their mouth, especially in spaces like this. So it sounds like this summit is not the place to be a fly on the wall. No, you absolutely You need to work not. the room. Yes. Let's talk about some of the assets of being a female entrepreneur, because a lot of people say, I want to do this. I have the heart for this, but I don't know if it's really for me. A lot of people just don't make the first step. Well, it's empowerment. You got to, you have to do that and you have to foster networking. Okay. You have to do that. Those are, you know, the two key elements. And then, Looking at your, your your layout of what you're doing, your, your business plan on how you're doing, because you say, I want to do this, but I just don't. Well, there's ways you can go about it, and you have to do your research. If you're not doing your research, you're doing yourself a disservice. So I always say that empowerment, because we need that, fostering a network and in resilience. Look, there are going to be peaks, and there's going to be valley moments, and only the strong survives. We hear that we're going to fall, and then we need to get up. Some people fall and say, that's it. We had the pandemic. Some people close. It's over. I'm done. No, no, no. Uh -uh. Regroup. Mm -hmm. Re-strategize. See, people say, um, I'm a boss. I'm a boss this. I'm a boss that. I said, for me, saying a boss is building opportunities strategically for success. And, and that definitely doesn't mean falling down. No, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. It means getting up several right. times, potentially. That's right. 
Right. Let's talk about some of the names that are going to be the room that people oh, may God. know and mm -hmm. that, who they respect and say, wait, I want to go in here and learn from this person. Oh, wow. Well, uh, Terry J. Vaughn is going to be there. We're doing a fireside chat. You know, actress, producer, director. My friend Terry J. Vaughn is going to be there. And we're going to talk about work-life balance. Yeah. What's that's going on huge. right now, right? Knowing how do you manage and keep it going when the cameras are off? And they're off right now. Mm -hmm. So true. again, you know, nothing's going on. How do you, because a lot of people feel like, knows that they're in front of the camera, they're doing the movies or they're behind the camera. But then when it says rap, everything stops. How do you manage that? You know, what you're doing at home, what she has a production company, what she's trying to do with that. So we're going to talk about that because that's important, that mental health piece. Yes, for sure. Um, I have, uh, oh gosh, who else is coming? Well, you may not know, but Janine Armstrong, president, the first female black president of ViStar. Credit Union, brand new in the state of Georgia, in Georgia, period. And she's coming with some powerful messages being a black female woman who's running uh, this bank that no one ever, had, you know, yeah. so, you know and she's, they, they dropped her right here in our lap. Well, she's coming with all that knowledge, all that wisdom. Uh, and then we have the corporate manager for all the Kroger's, a Kroger company, Tammy. Tammy Young, and she's going to come and just knock it out the box. Because again, they are people that have been in male dominant industries that are now going to be able to tell you this is how you yeah. navigate in these in those rooms. This is what you do. This is how we get in front. And some of these names don't sleep on because they have the tools. They've already oh. made it to where they're trying mm -hmm. to get to and they're mm -hmm. ready to drop these gems and share. And so many women in Atlanta are just yearning for, you know, these type of connections to get their businesses and ideas off the ground. So tell us where they can go to find all the information to be oh, in the room. Yes, go to BWEPinc.org, Business Women Empowerment Project. BWPinc.org. They can get all the information there. Um, that is the nonprofit that hosts the Women on the Move Summit for these 10 lovely years. And we also have a panel of what I call Who's Got Next? Some powerful women that are doing some great things that people don't know, but they need a platform. So this will give them an opportunity to have that platform. We thank you so much for being thank here you. and sharing this awesome summit with us. And congratulations again thank on you. 10 years. We wish you guys many more. Thanks.